Welcome my friends to another exciting dive into the world of Gold Rush, where the dreams of striking at rich and the heartaches of failure are only a pickaxe. Swing away, but today we're not just talking about gold, we're talking about a name synonymous with the spirit of mining Tony Beats you know him you love. Early life, him, and maybe you fear him just a little. But there's more to Tony's story, a tale of triumph and tragedy of grit and heart that makes him the true king of the Klondike. Let's go back all the way to 195.59 Tony Beats. Wasn't always the rugged miner you see on Gold Rush. He was a farm boy from the Netherlands, born on December 15th life, threw him a curveball. Hurley when his father, the pillar of the family farm, was left disabled after an accident. Imagine being just 15 years old. And suddenly you're responsible for running the entire farm. No one would have blamed Tony if he crumbled under the pressure. But that's not how Tony beats rolls. He didn't just step up. He thrived that experience shim hardening. His resolve and giving him that unstoppable drive we all recognize today. Fast forward to the 1980s Tony and his. Then girlfriend Minnie were looking for something more farming in the Netherlands wasn't enough. They packed up their dreams, left their home and took the leap of faith across the Atlantic. Canada was their new frontier at first. They tried their hands at running a dairy farm in British Columbia. But you know Tony Dairy Farming wasn't going to cut it. Destiny was calling, and it had gold dust on its lips in 1984. Tony discovered his true passion mining and discovering his passion. Let me tell you friends once Tony beats found gold there was no looking back by 1994 he had founded Tamarack Gold. Resources incorporated a venture that would soon become a gold empire, cementing his status as one of the Yukon's most successful miners, and now. Enter Gold Rush, the show that made Tony a household name although he didn't join. Until Season 2 in 2011, Tony Beats quickly became one of the most prominent faces on the show, his non-nonsense, approach his booming voice, and let's family life. Face it, his explosive personality earned him a massive fan base, but even more than that his old-school mining methods and relentless work ethic made him a legend in the Yukon now. Here's where it gets real behind the gruff exterior and the yelling on camera Tony's story has a softer, more emotional side Tony and many built not just a gold mining empire, but also a family together. They had four children, Ken, Mike, Monica, and Tragedy, Bianca. But not everything has been glittering gold in a devastating turn of events they lost their daughter Jasmine. At the age of two, a heart-wrenching tragedy that they've carried with them ever since. And if you think Tony's work ethic is unmatched, you've got to meet. Monica beats his daughter, she's a chip. Off the old block for sure strong. Legacy. Determined and not afraid to get her hands dirty, Monica has earned her place. Alongside her father in the mining world. But imagine the pressure of living up to Tony Beat's legacy. It's not just about digging up gold for Monica. It's about carrying the Beat's name into the next generation of Gold Rush legends. But no story of the Beat's family would be complete without mentioning some of Tony's more controversial moments. Remember that infamous scene Tony standing proudly as gasoline was poured into a nearby pond and set alight it was dramatic. It was bold. It was vintage. Two. But it also came with some serious consequences the Yukon court didn't see. The flames as entertainment they saw. Violation of environmental laws Tony was slapped with hefty fines totaling over. $25,000 was it a reckless move maybe but. Conclusion. That's Tony for you he pushes boundaries. And takes risks for better or for worse. Now let's not forget while Tony beats. Maybe a rough and tumble minor he's. Also a family man at heart, he's fiercely detective of his family, especially his. Kids who are deeply involved in the mining business, Monica, for instance, isn't just following in her father's. Footsteps, she's carving out her own path. And with the weight of the beat's name on her shoulders, she's more determined than ever to prove that she's not just. Tony's daughter, she's a force in her own. Right, Tony's wealth and success are undeniable between the gold mines and his gold rush earnings rumored to be between $150,000 and $200,000 per episode. The Beats family has secured their fortune. But money doesn't define Tony Beats. What defines him is his relentless pursuit of greatness, his dedication to his craft. 
and his love for his family, so what can we learn from the Beats family's journey? It's not just about finding gold, it's about resilience, passion, and pushing. Through the darkest of times, Tony's story reminds us that success doesn't come easy, it takes grit, it takes a willingness to face hardships head on. But most of all, it takes heart thanks for watching and if you're a true gold. Rush fan smash that like button and hit. Subscribe for more incredible stories from the world of gold mining. And remember sometimes the most valuable thing you can dig up isn't gold, but the lessons you learn along the way stay. Tuned for more updates from the Beats, family and beyond.